What's going on, everybody, and welcome to the Honey Soul Child Bottega channel. I am Melinda J, and I help people discover, analyze, and heal their blockages through self-compassion. So we are fastly approaching a whole nother month and also a whole nother lunar cycle. So, um, of course, this is the video about the new moon in Virgo. So let's go ahead and, and bounce on to it. So where's my card? Okay. So this is what the Moonology Manifesting card, Oracle card, looks like for the new moon in Virgo. And it says, trust all will be well, okay? And uh, you see some mountains there, and then you see all the different shades of green, okay? <clears throat> and what this moon, new moon is talking about with this energy, it says, sometimes we want everything to happen yesterday, but divine timing is a real thing. Sometimes we need more pieces of a jigsaw to fall into place before we can get what we want. Slow down now. Slowing down now is the, is the key for you to get what you want. So take your time and allow th events to unfold. See what you can do for others as a really quick and easy way to both distract yourself and to boost your good karma while you wait for your dreams to manifest. There's a reason why you pulled this card, so make sure you pay attention. Pay attention to the pay attention to the signs, y'all. Um, this card, as far as like the manifesting focus is, this card is especially good sign for matters related to job or health situation, because um, Virgos are well, Virgo sign is associated with service and work and also health. And we're going to get into that in the presentation. And then as far as like the manifest and mindset is go out of your way to help someone helping boost this karma, like good karma. What, what you do unto others will do, be done unto you. Okay. And be reliable. Don't overthink things, Virgos. Don't overthink, right? Or anybody who has Virgo placements in their chart. Try not to overthink because that's like one of the negative aspects. And also be modest. Okay. And as um, far as like your affirmation with this card, because I have an affirmation as far as like the whole entire presentation type of thing. But your um, manifesting affirmation is I help others and others help me. And if you want to amplify this um, this magic or this energy, the best time to do it is when the moon is in Virgo, like the new moon, or when the full moon is in Virgo, or when the last quarter or first, first quarter moon is happening in Virgo. Just any moon cycle that is happening within the Virgo sign, as well as on Wednesday, which is Mercury Day, that's associated with the astrological sign of Virgo. Or during Mercury's hour, which I have not figured that out yet, but give me some time and I will do so. All right. So now that we got that over with, now I'm going to share my screen with you all so we can get on to this presentation. All right. New moon in Virgo, y'all. Are y'all enjoying my graphics here? Feel free to comment down below. If you like my graphic, you know, I, I'm a art junkie. So this is like right up my alley. But anyways, we in the new moon of Virgo. <clears throat> the topics that we're going to be discussing is, of course, basic information about the new moon, the sign that it is in, the aspects of, that is happening around the new moon and more. All right. <clears throat> So basic info is, as you haven't already, the new moon is all about a restart. So again, people, you don't have to wait into um, the new year, the new year in January 1st to do, to, you know, restart or do a fresh start. You can always restart on a new moon cycle. Okay. 
Um, as well as you can also start in the true calendar of restarting a, a new year, which is within March when the sign is in Aries, okay? Because Aries is the start of the astrological calendar or the astrological sign. So the new moon is all about restart, making wishes, setting your intentions so you can be able to sow those seeds into whatever you want to bring to life, all right? It is happening on the, uh, on the 27th of this month. And as I broke it down by the numbers, it came out as the number seven, which means personal growth slash reflection. So this is the perfect time to self-reflect, work on your personal growth and everything. Um, on the day that is happening on is on Saturday. So Saturn, the planet Saturn, that's associated with the sign of, uh, Ash, well, yeah, the zodiac sign Capricorn energy, uh, responsible Capricorn energy, your fellow earth sign, okay? Uh, the cardinal, so <laughs> I could go a little bit more. But anyway, Saturn, uh, Saturday is the day where you just get rid of stuff or um, the um, or just concluding or wrapping up things or just completion of things that things people that do not um, that no longer serve your purpose basically and death is also associated with that day so um, it's the whole Saturday aspect is which definitely okay yeah no does that explain the part no 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 <laughs> that's the devil cards <laughs> i'm thinking something else anyways but saturday saturday is the perfect day to get rid of person places or things or just getting rid of something or someone that no longer serves your purpose so you could be able to make new um and make space to bring new opportunities people and the list goes on. It's also a day of transformation as well as spiritual cleansing. All right. Now on to the sign that is in Virgo. Virgo is I analyze because they are very detail oriented and the list goes on. Um, <clears throat> the Virgo sign is the earth sign, which they're practical, materialistic, dependable, um, um, utilitarian and um, conservative, as well as the Virgo being mutable sign, meaning the end of when it comes to being a mutable sign. And of course, we're wrapping up the end of summer. So, uh, so we can be able to start the fall with the Libra sign that comes in in, in the middle of September going into October, but mutable signs are adaptable, they're variable, they're restless, um, easygoing, as well as scattered, um, and however see fit with the scatter portion, okay? No shade to anybody who has scatter brain. Um, everybody has a scatter brain to a certain degree, okay? Or some sense of scatteredness. Now, the planet ruler for Virgo is Mercury, as stated before. Mercury, the planet Mercury is associated with rational mind, thinking process, all forms of communication, local travel, transportation matters, um, as well as the, um, the day, like the actual day that is as associated with the astrological sign of Virgo is Sunday, which Sunday deals with matters that deal with wellness, goals, merriment, a great day to give thought to whether you want to further your education or how you want to invest wisely. So Sunday is the day where you just basically reflect um, what you want to um, put your energy towards and work on wellness as well, okay?
which explains that's why it's associated with the Virgo sign. Because Virgos, again, segue into the natural house ruler for Virgo is the sixth house, which is eye service that deals with work, employment, co-workers, employees, working conditions, health, uh, work being done on the body, diet, hygiene, services, daily tasks, routines, etc. You name it. Okay. On to the more section about um, things that are associated with the Virgo sign is the throat chakra. The throat chakra is associated with the third, uh, with, not the third, with the Virgo sign, which meaning I speak. And with the throat chakra, it deals with sound expression and expression of personal truth. So I will highly encourage everyone, including myself, to embark in some sound healing, whether it's listening to music or just vocally expressing um, your feelings or how you want to relay information to people, just as long as it's um, sound and modest and not impulsive, okay, and reactive. All right, so... Also, the polarity that's associated with the Virgo sign is the yin, all right? Yin, the, the, the elements associated with yin are earth and water, and the elements that are associated with yang is fire and air. So this time we're dealing with the yin, which meaning extra well, introvertedness and passive and receptive. OK. And uh, of course, the affirmation, y'all know I got to give y'all a little affirmation that I came up with in regards to being associated with the Virgo, with the I analyze, the I speak with the throat chakra and the I service with the sixth house. So the affirmation this time is I analyze the signs from divine. I speak with reason and modesty. And I service to others as divine timing is working in my favor. Okay, so that's the energy that I was getting as I was dissecting the new moon energy. Next, we have the aspect. So we got the uh, moon in conjunction with the sun, which deals with shining light or giving life to your willpower, ego, creativity, identity as well as the moon squaring with Mars that's in Gemini. So Mars is dealing with assertive, competitive energy, and Gemini is dealing with communicative, adaptable energy. So M Gemini is your fellow mutable sign as well. Um, so it's definitely some, uh, <laughs> you're going to be like in cahoots with uh the Mars, if you have that aspect, okay, in that in your natal chart as well, and you're going, you're is like assertiveness versus adaptability mm -hmm. or competitiveness uh, uh, versus communicative. Um, you either want to be competitive or you want to be adaptable or you want to be assertive while you're communicating. So, and then lastly, um. The moon is sextiling with the MC, which is in Capricorn still, and that deals with women or general public play a, playing a significant role on the road to success in um, people's life. So um, there's not too many aspects going on for this new moon energy, um, and I definitely want to for everybody to check out the chart that's happening. So as stated before, the sun is conjuncting with the moon right here. All right. So it's like basically with conjunction is a strong emphasis. And due to the fact that it's happening in Virgo, it's very, that's a little potent energy there. And then, of course, again, with the moon. So basically with the with the moon conjuncting with the sun, your feelings and emotions are going to have a strong emphasis 
with your ego when it comes to your ego your creativity your identity and you know giving life to your willpower all right and then far as like the moon squaring with mars the squ squaring is dealing with um conflicting desires and inner struggles to lead that leads to action so your um feelings and emotions or in conflicting desires when it comes to the Mars energy that is happening in Virgo over here. So your moon is here with the blue symbol and then it's squaring over here with Mars that's in uh, G uh, Gemini. Gemini is that twin energy, the duality, the good, the bad, the dark, the light. So with <laughs> assertive, competitive, and initiative Mars is just you're going to be tussling back and forth whether you want to good bad dark light up down type of energy so be wary uh, um, and be wary and just be patient with yourself at that time that's what I'm saying okay because y'all be back back what the fourth energy uh, <laughs> with the Mars and Gemini okay and then the last aspect as stated before the moon so your feelings and emotions are going to be sextiling with MC which is in Capricorn so Capricorn is all the way over here and MC is down here with the houses aspect and so basically your feelings and emotions are um sextiling that's um putting things at ease or just putting in effort for best results. So your feelings and emotions are either at ease or you're putting your best results forward and to become a responsible, taking advantage of your life or taking advantage of the situation, taking charge, being authoritative to, um, to where you can be able to, um, use that use that conjunction energy that strong emphasis of the moon and and the sun energy that way you can be able to create the life that you want because right now you see all this retrograde action that's happening on the side you got jupiter and retrograde with aries you got uh, saturn in retrograde with aquarius uh which i have aquarius and saturn Woo. Okay. And then you have Uranus and retrograde with Taurus, which as I'm recording this today, um, we're definitely in, we're already in retrograde with, um, um, with Uranus and Taurus. So today is what the 24th. Um, so yeah, Uranus just became in retrograde and Taurus. And then you got Neptune, <laughs> <laughs> in retrograde with Pisces, you got Pluto in retrograde with um um in in Capricorn, and then you got the Node, which is in Taurus as well, that's in retrograde, and then you got Chiron, that's in Aries in retrograde. So there's a lot of action going on. There's a lot, and with retrograde, it's all about um the need of re-experiencing or reflecting or redo or reviewing so it's a lot of reflective ener um, energy a lot of self-reflection and reevaluating what you really want to do so now is the time to take advantage of <laughs> of the song that came into mind with me this morning is unpredictable by Jamie Foxx. You know, unpredictable. We about to do something you never done before. All right. So use that energy so you can be able to get out. So you won't. You can live the life that you truly want to live instead of just being in norm and having to do and say what we've been told our entire lives basically okay so um yeah that concludes this presentation for the most part and um let me make myself big again so let me stop sharing okay so again i got my jar i got my jar with the self love deck so let's go ahead and see 
what comes out for everyone. And I'm uh, dang it. Okay, this keeps coming. So let's see. Gift yourself a small piece of rose quartz and rose quartz deals with self-love, healing, and unconditional love energy to wear. So um, check out your nearest or online e-commerce um, shop and gift yourself a rose quartz and use that energy to bring love on yourself, love on yourself, because that's what it, um, improves your health in the Virgo energy. Hello? So definitely utilize utilize that to the, its full capacity all right so yeah that concludes this video everyone oh be sure to check out um the lunar reading and i did something different on that for the next month which is in september and i uh with the lunar and the ancestral reads those um always come out at the beginning of the month because again, we're starting a new cycle. So be sure to check those out. Um, they will be re releasing between the 1st and the 2nd of September. Okay. And then also um, Virgos, please check out your season in uh, your seasonal energy and everybody can check it out as well, but definitely Virgos, check it out and see what you think. Uh, leave, leave some comments, some thoughts. In the comment section below and then also there was another oh check out my weekly flashlight readings where um i just pull one one card or basically the card comes out i wait till the card jumps out um and see what the energy is looking like for the week um be sure to check that out and also i'll be doing the all signs new moon um card pull and see what the energies are looking like using the green witch oracle since we're dealing with a earth sign or we're moving towards our earth grounding season okay well we're in we're wrapping up the season grounding ourselves what am i talking about but anyways y'all know what it is all right <laughs> so i thank you all for tuning in to this video be sure to leave a comment down below and your thoughts and opinions and see yeah, um, uh, let me know if the energies are resonating at the present moment. If not, that's okay. Um, be sure to uh, share the video as well. Uh, sharing is caring. Each one, teach one. All right. And um, all my social media links will be in the description box below, including my email address. If you want to just email me um, um, readings that you would like for me to do whether it's celebrity or worldwide or you know you know the things but uh yeah <laughs> and also like the video if you haven't done so already um but so i could get boosted up in the big a the big algorithm um as well as subscribe to the youtube channel if you haven't done so already and be sure to hit that notification and click all so you know the next time i upload a video and always and forever until next time always remember to love thyself know thyself soothe thyself so you can heal thyself and i'll see you guys in the next video bye